Numerical Computation, Chapter 7, MATLAB Video. We will now take a look at a couple of examples and how they perform in MATLAB. So for this test study, we chose an A matrix to be a 6 times 6 matrix, which is listed here. So it's um, diagonal dominant. We see diagonal is 4. It's kind of a sparse. It has many zeros. And off diagonal, we have um, just some values, negative 1, appearing here and there. Okay, And uh, we choose the right-hand side vector B to be this value. So that's a um, column vector. And one can show or one can verify that the exact solution is 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. So it becomes a bit easier for us to see if our iteration converges. We will solve this with iterative methods, the three methods, Jacobian, Gauss, Seidel, and SOR, and all of three will be started with the same initial value, which um, is the so-called our smart choice, that's the right-hand side divided by the um, diagonal element. So here, what we listed in the table is a Jacobi iteration. So we want to set error tolerance epsilon to be 10 to the negative 5 measured in L infinity norm. So what does that mean is that we want the approximate solution to be accurate in at least four decimal places for all the elements, each one, x1, x2, all the way to x6. Okay, And then what we listed here is um, for each iteration we listed the six elements in the x vector. So as we see, after 10 iterations, it's not converging yet because we know the answer shall be 1, 2, 1, 2. Okay? There's still some error. And after 20 iterations, it's getting pretty close. And this is 1, that's good. And that's still not good. And that's not good. And that's not good. And this one is good. And that's not. So we see we possibly need a couple more iterations. And it looks like it's getting there. Now, um, the same problem solved by Gauss-Seidel, um, the same output style we put here, showing that after 12 iterations, we get this number. So it's 1 or 0 here, 2 or 0 here, and 1 and 2 and 1 and 2. And that is good enough. It passed the tolerance criteria. So. It converges after 12 iterations, so not bad. And this is the result with SOR iteration, choosing the parameter W to be 1.12. And we see that the same output, we see that after 7, actually 8 iterations, we'll be guaranteed that our approximate solution is accurate up to 4 decimal places. So it's even better. So to conclude, we give this plot um, arrow against number of iterations for all three methods after many iterations. Okay. So the blue line here is in the Jacobi iteration, and the red one is the gauss seidel and the green one is SOR. And the arrow here is plotted in the logarithm um, scale. So you see, if your error tolerance shall be 10 to the negative 5, which is approximately here, and you draw a horizontal line, then you see Jacobi iteration will require about 24, 25 iterations, and uh, gauss seidel between 12, something like that, and the SOR would require maybe 7 iterations. And it goes down with a um, steeper slope, so the arrow decreases faster. Okay, so it clearly shows the SOR is the best choice here. Okay, so hope you enjoy this short video and see you next time.